I have one, two, one question with two answers, or maybe three. Is this a thick aircraft, a chunky aircraft, or streamlined? If you just don't look at the bottom. Look up. I, I got to say, I'm a sucker for spines, like on the Hunter, like on the Swift, like on the MiG-21, like on the MiG-19. This one has a really thick, girthy, chunky spine. But guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're on the dev server checking out the Lightning F6 at 10.0 with... um. I'm going into today with the idea that the climb rate is ludicrous and um, this can catch a lot of things in a climb. Or this thing's just ludicrous. At least from all of my Tiaboo friends just been yappity yap 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 about this thing being extremely a ludicrous climber. We're going to go into you know the test flight with that mentality. Um, but some other details. We got two jet engines. This is a interceptor. It's extremely heavy. That's why it needs these huge 7,340 kilogram force dual engines. Absolutely magnificent design in the terms of eye-pleasing, at least for me. On the bottom, this thing is so fuel heavy, they had to expand this. I don't know if it would be this big. Maybe it would, even if they didn't have the fuel tank. But we have a fuel tank here. A fuel tank there, 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 and probably a fuel tank in here somewhere. This thing's hungry. And then two little bitty Aiden guns that are going to do great. They only have 120 rounds in each, but they're Aidens. Most of the times, once you get on target, done -zo. Now, before we go test out the, um, the plane itself, let's have a look at the secondaries. So we have a fire streak, which is meh. Eh, we kind of, it, I don't know, Fire Streak, maybe now it's gotten better, but when it was kind of first released and mid through its life, it hasn't been that reliable. I mean, it is on some type of aircrafts, but it's, this is what I'm interested in. The Red Top. The British have probably some of the best names for their weapon systems. The Red Top air-to-air -air missile weighs 167 kilograms with a uh, 16G maximum overload, so they, they can be dodged, but they're definitely going to track there. However, the 31 grams of, sorry guys, just my brain's going wee-wah right now. 31 kilograms of explosive mass. So with that type of explosive mass, it can kind of get there and miss. And I think the explosive mass might be able to crit it or send off some uh, flying surfaces of the enemy aircraft with it not being like a hit that we would all imagine. It could be maybe 10, 15 meters away. Yeah. Let's just say maybe eight at the most. These are huge. They're right here. Like the British were on a whole different level and they did their own thing, you know? Like they they had their designers and their wants and needs and then the Russians just like, hey, look, look, hey, look at this. Hey, well, we have, we, we call it different name. I just love how the British had their own designs, you know? Really cool stuff. Uh, but we're not going to bring this out. We're just going to see how this thing flies without and fuel tank at, let's just use it as op, what we would optimally do. Ludicrous. And I, I've heard all the stories about the U2 and stuff, but let's see how it is in War Thunder. I don't know, below average acceleration. Chunky boy, let's get up in the air! Woo, had to put some takeoff laps for that one. Okay, very good acceleration. Not anything that we're not used to in War Thunder, though. Okay, let's go for the climb. Gaining airspeed. That's pretty darn impressive right there. But, I, but, but I, I, I personally think other planes can do that. Let's go ahead and get this thing. Let's get it turned around here. Oh, oh boy. Oh, she is little chunky. 
Now, as I said before, this is an interceptor, not a dogfighter, apparently. Now this feels like a this feels like another jet that we've, we've played in War Thunder. This feels like maybe a not like a MIG almost without that wobbly. Okay, we'll wait till we hit Mach, and then we'll go up for a climb. Oh Lord! Okay, we'll we'll go up now. Yeah, we had to reduce speed before Mach. That's some pretty kick butt climb rate right there, though. At the same time, if someone's behind you, though, at this BR, they're going to fire a missile at you. What are you going to do, this? Whoa, and then look at that energy burn. <laughs> Dude, a little bit of a little bit of a good climb. But nothing like, nothing that I was expecting, though. Let's see acceleration at about 8,000, 7,000 meters. Yeah, really good acceleration. For how big this aircraft is, yeah. That's a bus of a turn right there. We are at high altitude. Let's just drop down and see how maybe let's simulate a dogfight real quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. This thing doesn't like to go fast, apparently. Okay, let's get down below Mach. Nice air brakes, power. And let's go into the typical turn. Well, that's a nice slice right there. And then the slicing stops. It's not as bad as I thought. No, there it goes. Once you get it below at around 700 kilometers an hour, you're, you're good as dead. At the same time, you shouldn't do that, but, you know, in some situations, you will get down to that speed. The, some players might force you to. The roll. Let's try a neg. Wow. Yep. Off, off, off you go. Hmm. Sorry. Sorry, family of 18. P apologies. I don't know. It feels average. Though for sure, this thing might have the longest mock diamonds in the game. Why am I? Why do I gotta reduce speed? Come. Oh. Very nice structure. Got industrial. Dang, this is gonna be a challenging map. I feel like. But okay, holy, we got a mig on us already. No, we're we're going in for a ludicrous climb right now. Mig don't give a crap about my climb. <laughs> As I expected it to be. At the same time, we were just more spectating right there, but Mig caught us, fair and square. Okay. Let's see if we can go for this F4. He's got a great turn compared to me. There's a the climb rate. He's gonna launch a missile soon though. He's got me radar locked. Alright, let's let's go. Above the clouds. <laughs> Where are you, partner? There he is, he lost me. S 
Got him though? No! That would have been awesome! We're gonna start slowing down here, yep. Whistle out. Good track. Not enough though. Ah, she's a bus. Can't, I can't even rotate it right now. Okay, not a dogfighter at all. Oh, lucky me. Wow, that is one heavy aircraft. Yeah, I mean, pretty much, you just rely on your, your two red tops? Wow, that E's nutty, too. <laughs> like, what do you do, just climb and hope that someone doesn't see you and launch a missile? Let's see if we can get another dogfight. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey! Missile, missile, missile! Look at that MiG chop. Wow, he's already back around. Wow, look at that, that's awesome. That's MiG-20, oh, come on, hey dads. So, I guess we can't dogfight with this right now. Yo! <laughs> now let's uh, let's maybe focus more on the missile meta. This reduced airspeed is just weird, though. This is, I don't know. Not enough. Yeah, it's gonna be so difficult to get on target. And the missiles don't, they're not like, okay, he's in front of me, this will probably kill him. Wow, I didn't even get an alert for that one. Up, oh, up. Oh. That one I got an alert from, though. There's a good snap. Good track, good track. Boom! Blow up right there. That's where he should have gone. Wow, you really gotta like throw it out there. And gosh, that artillery is extremely loud. I mean, I don't know, like it it feels like I can get a kill with this every spawn, but nothing special. Not like a MiG-21 or an F4. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting today. Um, we'll see how what happens on the dev server or on the live server. I mean, the War Thunder motto I like to, you know, go by is that this is the dev server. Things can change, but there's a good chance or there's a chance that it probably won't. We'll have to wait and see. The Lightning's a... It can't dogfight. It can't, it can't cut corners. Um, maybe some snapshots... Uh, you got to rely on your missiles that I think are maybe a little bit more close range. I really didn't take too much of a look at them. Hmm. Hmm. Underwhelmed, say the least. <laughs> 
I don't know. I don't know what to. Say. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. That's truly how I feel right now. All right, but uh, more dev server stuff on the way. Stay tuned, guys. We're gonna have a video on the Draken uh, for the next, or maybe um, we might do some tanks next video. But Draken will be next aircraft. Peace out, guys.